Yo, so we're sitting here with the collective known as Black Heavy, but individually you guys are some of the biggest MCs doing it right now. We got Absol on the corner over there, Kendrick Lamar, yeah. Schoolboy Q, and J-Rock in the building, yes, up sir. at the source. Yes, Black sir. Heavy's yeah. up at the source. Yeah, yeah. Well, I appreciate yeah. you well, man. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. A different type of movement has come out of California, a little bit of dancing, a little bit of swag. You guys have really brought the soul back into hip-hop. I mean, let's talk about that. Our whole thing is just to, like you said, keep the originality, you know what I mean, in the music. We're not trying to fabricate no story or uh, be confined to what the industry is telling us or what, you know, the execs are telling us. We're doing us, you know, and that's what it represents, you know, unruly, yeah. black hippie. Sometimes I might hear a little tribe called Quest, yeah. and naturally I'm going to hear some N.W.A. What are some of, some of your influences? I think probably our, our each individual here, our biggest influence will have to probably be N.W.A. Mm -hmm. You know, just because we're from L.A. No matter which type of music we like, whether it's from the East Coast uh, or the South, you know, that was a lifestyle that we lived and we know. And as far as the music, it, it spoke for us. So I think that's one of our biggest things. They spoke reality and they rap and they music in general. So. What's the concept of black hippies? So low. When, you, when you think about a hippie, you know what I mean? You know, you think about, you know, the, you know, the guys sitting in the grass, Indian style, you know, uh, fighting for world peace, you know, smoking a little weed smoking or whatever. world peace. You know? <laughs> think about a lot of colors, you know what I'm saying? Colorful, positive energy, free thinkers, you know what I mean? Put the black on top of it to make it more of a wider range of ideas, not necessarily just fighting for peace, but, you know, not necessarily fighting for war, you know what I mean? It's kind of a, you get the love, you get the hate, you get the good, the bad, you know what I mean? We want to touch on all of that because all of those, all of those emotions and all of those causalities are real, so, you know. How did y'all meet each other? At the end of the day, we always familiar with each other. I'm quite sure we probably ran into each other numerous of times before we actually met. We've been homies for like seven, eight years now. You know, but before that, you know, LA is so small, man. And everybody knows each other, so I probably bumped head with this dude about two, or three times. Yeah, you know. So at the end of the day, I think it was just meant to be for us to fall into the same studio. We like really homies, like. Like these is like my best friends, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, I really don't kick it with a bunch of niggas like that, you know. When is that black hippie? I will coming out. Oh man, I, I say man, I I was got to say probably the top of the year, man. Okay. What is the situation right now with like the colors and all that? Well, like gang? Yeah. Uh, I mean, that shit is, honestly, L.A., I'm going to tell you like this, niggas put extras on game making in L.A. because niggas out here wearing rags and they videos and it, it ain't nothing like that. You go to L.A., you see a nigga with his rag on and then he's making himself a target for the police, my nigga, for another nigga to get real gangsters don't run around wearing rags, right. putting that in the air. Yeah. All these suckers in L.A. that's wearing rags, acting like game banging in his 1980s, stop it because... I'm a I'm a game banger, my nigga, and it's like I never wear a rag, you know what I'm saying? And I never grew up seeing niggas wearing rags. Never grew up wearing seeing niggas wearing rags. That's like movie shit. And that's like the hood day, you know what I'm saying? Like the hood day or something, May second, nigga throw a rag on or something. It's the hood day, you know what I'm saying? Get your ass wig. Yeah, you know, you ain't making yourself a target. The police gonna be like, stop it. It's gang junk, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and it's not it's not like that, man. Hoods is not like that. If you ask any real game banger about about, about gangs, my nigga. Everybody set. Whether you Crip, whether you from Grape Street, whether you from Bonnie Hunters, Hoover, 60s, whatever you from, whatever you from, Brims, everybody hood is all the way turned down now compared to what it was. You know what I'm saying? Niggas is walking through niggas' hoods. Niggas is wearing this color, bloods, getting along with Crips. It's nothing like Nothing like how niggas think it is. But I can say, niggas don't play basketball no more, though. I remember you used to go to the park, nigga. You used to go to the park, grab a ball, just go by yourself, nigga, pick up game. Now you go to the park, you nigga. Niggas all at the house playing the game. Or nigga, trying to rap. Nigga on Cubase trying to get it in. I think I see more rags out here than out there. Yeah, for real. I see more rags out here than out yeah, this your boy J-Rock. Yeah, what up? What's going on? It's Kendrick Lamar, straight out of Compton, Top Dog Entertainment. What up? Schoolboy Q. Hi. I'm Absol. Right now you're checking out the source.com.